Uh oh, alright, I got this all set up and we're ready to go. So, this is... Air Fortress. Well, let me unpause. No, I have to do the thing. Right, unpause, resume. There we go. Hey, now I can <laughs> see it. Um, Trucks McGruff, thank you for asking. Um, it does mean, like, I try to pull, like, this is a LGBTQ plus, like, safe space, like, you're totally good to be here and stuff, but, like, I specifically, uh, fall under the asexual category. Um, I've seen a lot of my other friends that'll do, like, the LGBTQ, I, A plus, <laughs> that's a mouthful, um, but then declare, like, bisexual or, um, uh, pansexual or whatever have you, they'll, like, label what they are specifically. Exactly, same, same. I know, um, Horror Queen Cosplay does the same thing. She uses the yeah. main tag and then also uses the bisexual tag. Yeah. Isn't asexual kind of opposed to the whole sexuality album? But no, it's it's a part of it. It's like what the A is yeah, the, in LGBTQA. Exactly the, yeah, that's what the A is. I know a lot of people like do like to refer to A as like ally, but it is a part of the um, sexuality um, alphabet. There might be a few that are just like not they don't want to be a part of it, but like I am I'm one of those that will absolutely you know. Also, as a side note, your character does not ride in the ship; he rides on the ship. I love that. Oh, oh, you're right. What? That is weird. He's like, like hunched over on the ship. This is cute. And then, so you said this one's one of the like an original. Yeah, yeah. This was like eighty-seven, eighty-eight. Yeah. But why? What? Using the turbo and cheating. Oh, 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 those are yeah, not back down. Those got me the first time, too. <laughs> uh, this perplexes autistic. No, you're good. No, you're, uh, no, I was just like, um, why, 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 what, in what I had already said. You might need to clarify it a little bit. Ow, ow, Zelda, don't bite. Or are we biting? There you go. Um, also, this is interesting because I can actually hear the sound for once. Oh, yeah, that is interesting. Usually I can't hear the game sound. Yeah, that's weird. I wonder why it's allowing for that. Yeah, sorry. Uh, you're woo. You're allowed to ask why. I was just like trying to clarify which which why are you asking about? Zelda, can you not? Cuz um also because ace is a spectrum as well. Is like, it? Like um for example Yeah. Because there is such a thing as Grey Ace, which is what I am. I have a handful of kinks. Oh, that's right. But the idea of sexual intercourse is revolting to me. That's right, I did- I, uh, I have heard about that, where it's like, yeah, it's asexual and then it has its, like, its delve down into it. Like, there are a lot of people that refer to, like, refer to themselves as bi, but they could refer to them- Oh, he has recoil? The fuck? Yeah. And like I said, it's a weird one. Oh, also, if you notice, um, your health is going down when you shoot and move. So every um, now and then you need to stay still to regenerate. Oh, interesting. When you get shot is when you lose health permanently. But if you stay still, you just use energy. So you do still want to avoid getting there, hit. Yeah. If you don't like it, of course, you can use uh, some lab to do that for you. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, it's like if you you still want like babies and things like that. I don't particularly. Whoops. Wait, wait, wait. I got this. Ooh, there we go. Oh, this is clever. This is an NES, like an actual. Yep, this is from the yeah. from the early days. Very cool. There we go. And up I I've heard of Ace people going that route too. Yeah. The, uh, lab route. The, um, artificial insemination route. Yeah. Like, for people that aren't sexual but still want to have kids, but that's, yeah. you know, that, that's why I consider it's like, perfect, yeah, that's perfectly, like, fine. Yeah. Uh, ace is the short, shorthand term for asexuality. Mm. 
Ah, the butterflies are assholes. There we go. Ooh. Wouldn't it be better as uh, Ace X? Sometimes! I, I've seen a couple people use it like that, but um, Ace is the more widely uh, used term. Whoa. And it's, like, somewhat fitting, because, like, want to be about as far away from sex as possible. Oh, God, I went back up. <laughs> it's cool that you can, like, backtrack a little bit. Oh, yeah, in later stages, you have to. And, yeah, this the sound similarity is kind of what drives it. Whoa. Also, if you hit the other button, you have bombs. Whoa. Oh, oh shit, yeah, I do have bombs. I forgot I have bombs. That'd be really helpful for the boss, huh? Yep. Destroy the Eye of Sauron. Yeah, no kidding. Now in this first introductory level, getting that ship is easy. In the next level, after you beat the boss, it's go find your ship in oh, this no. maze. And it's Metroid style, where it's blowing up. Oh no. I haven't beaten level two. Oh no. <laughs> We're gonna see how it's far not... we can get. Yeah. It's not super difficult, I just didn't know the, um, it was a timer, so I putzed around. I'm like, I don't wanna oh, redo this. That makes sense. Oh, my bombs didn't carry over. That's a bummer. No, you not, nothing carries over from stage to stage but lives. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, this the shooter section basically exists to help you power up. You'll get a lot of those E-bubbles here. For the level. Oh, yeah. Oh! Wow. Ah. I-A-T-A. Okay. Let's do that one more time. Oh, you'll just let us continue because we're on the same route. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, yeah. You only need the, the tail. It, it looks like it. a tail. I'm pretty sure it's um. It you're. There you go. You'll see. It's a ship, and then you hop onto the ship. So it's a little little guy riding on top of a ship. Although, in looking at it now, it does look like the um the tail of the ship is coming out of his butt. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Whoops. This is a space furry, obviously. Clearly. He's got a tail. Whoops. I don't mean to do that. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, it gets hard. And don't forget that those asteroids are, um, not background. They're in the foreground. Definitely foreground, yep. They got, they got me the first time with that, too. I lost a life or two to those. There we go. So your space fang. Yeah, it looks like a yeah space fang. I was wondering if that was the angle they're going with. Oh Jesus. Yeah, you know now that you say it, I, I didn't notice that before, but yeah, that tracks. There's some really interesting uh bad guys. Considering the limitations of an NES. Oh Jesus, I hate these things. Especially given this was an early one before um, back in the day. Yeah, you know, when they would put extra chips in it to make it more powerful. Oh yeah. Oh, did you hear somebody got an any uh, NES to run Doom? Oh, that's great. <laughs> but unfortunately, it, 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 they kind of cheated because they had to use a ras. They put a Raspberry Pi oh. in an NES cart, Ooh. so it's technically running. It'll run on the NES, but it's only really working because of the uh, Raspberry Pi in oh, the cart. Oh, I see. I'm like, you know what? I'd count it. You can run, yeah, you can run Doom on damn near anything. <laughs> I've seen, I, I've seen Doom run on potato, on a calculator being powered by potatoes. Amazing. Oh, that's great. Now, you are now entering the Air Fortress. Oh, the title of the game! Bit of a title drop. But who, but then who was Air Fortress? Yeah, but who was Air Fortress? I, I quoted that meme in, in a, a um, Horror disc in a horror Discord where everybody was in their twenties and nobody got it. I'm like, oh god, no. my bones are turning to dust. <laughs> uh, 
Also, I love that the designs of the of robots are taken right from old 60s science fiction. Yeah, it, it's real good. This whole game has that, like, 60s vibe. Yeah. Speaking of uh, 60s era sci-fi, have you watched Shin Ultraman yet? No, not yet. Oh, it's so good. Oh. I'll need a, I'll need it, a link to it's that. So, it's so bizarre to see, like, that style with of uh, storytelling with really good oh, special effects. I'm like, okay, here is a giant superhero, but the if and he looks cheesy, but the effects are way too good for this. Yeah. I actually really like the the um the Shin movies that have been coming out lately. Yeah. That uh, have been doing things like that. Like Yeah, didn't didn't Anno also do this movie? Yeah. He also did uh I believe he's working on Shin Kamen Rider now. Yeah, I think that was like one of the next ones he was gonna work on. Shin Kamen Rider and Shin... I mean, I already did Shin Godzilla. Yeah. I hope they do Shin uh, Super Sentai. Oh, uh, yeah, more, more, more Super Sentai would be great. Okay, sorry, timer. <laughs> uh, the timer only runs when you're, um... Doing boo- doing, uh, after you blow it up. Oh, I see. So you're not on a timer now. Oh, I see. Oh, no, wait. <sighs> Damn. Not as intuitive as I thought it would be. Yeah, the elevator's where I get tripped up a little bit, too. So, do we think our robot Sphinx guy is making it to the thumbnail for this one? Oh, for 100%. <laughs> yeah, I think you still still owe me a thumbnail for the SNES one we did. I, yeah, I think I have it loaded. I just have to make it. There's like one I did, and then we did another one. I'm like, oh crap, now I gotta do this one. No rush, I just realized that there's one that's not uploaded yet. Yeah. I think I have it uploaded, I just haven't, like, it's the, I have to sit down and make the thumbnail now. <laughs> <laughs> and to be honest, half the fun of those streams is watching the thumbnail, watching what makes the thumbnail later. Yeah. Which one's going into the thumbnail? I know it's hard too because like I have to like sometimes sometimes we have a time. Uh, sometimes yeah, sometimes it's like flooded with crap. There was one I was really proud of where it's like it was golf, but like I kept putting like different characters into the golf one. Yeah, that was a fun one. I remember that. We had the Fred Fl we had the Fred Flintstone and, it's, and his thing looked That's like a club. That's right, it looked like a club. It's time for me to hop off and misuse substances and all for my brain chemistry. Thank you. Have a wonderful uh, rest of your evening. Have a good one. Be safe. Well, I can't condone all substances. I do condone you to be safe. Oh, and thank you for the follow. Thank oh, you for the follow. Oh yeah. If I'm safe, I'll be back. Excellent. That's how I know you'll survive. <laughs> when you come back. Let's see, left one. Only escape. Hmm. Oh, so I guess now you now, now I know the easy way to get to the ship when I beat the level later. Excellent, so it's the left one. So I have to go right first. There we go. Another friend of mine has a uh, Redeem a Game stream. Oh. She had to do two oh. hours of Garfield Kart. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, at least it was the, um, 
the Steam Garfield cart and not the NES Garfield cart. But still, it was a time watching that. Oof. And again, the same friend has streamed Who's Home Run Derby, so oh. she knows suffering. She knows suffering. She understands suffering. Oh, shit. Hey, look, it's the Wa Air Fortress Man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm out of... Out of... All out of bomb. Somebody set you up the bomb. <laughs> How are you, gentlemen? <laughs> Just yeah, be we... mindful, this is the segment you're timed on. Oh. Well, I am being timed. It's... Oh, yeah, Jesus. now you are. Once, once the um, boss is destroyed, you're kind of in a Metroid situation. And it's very un it's very unclear that you're being timed until your first death. And you're like, oh. oh, I was being timed. Oh shit. Like it's yeah, like things slowly start to happen and you're like, oh okay, I thought this was all for show. No, this is escalation. Hope I'm going the right way. Yeah, it looks like I'm going the right way. There you go. Okay. And then we're going left. Oh, nope. Come on, there you go. I, and last time I hadn't realized we backtracked, I went right and went, oh no. Oh no. And then I died in the explosion. Oh shit. The only escape. Hooray! You did it! Now we get to see the butt tail again. Do -do 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 -do. I know, it's kind of unfortunate given all the colors this has that like, our lad is definitely the same color as this poor ship. Yes. Amazing. Okay, so, then, so now that we've beaten the second level, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's die and we'll make a note of the uh, the password, I suppose. <laughs> there we Death. go. <laughs> I got this recorded, so it'll be fine. Okay. <clears throat> let's see. Um, this is in alphabetical order. But I can make okay. um, one of these go last. So we're going to do the Chojin Sentai Jet, jet Man. I may have hit you with this this one before. This is a Famicom sounds, game trans... Sounds familiar. This is a... Yeah, Famicom game translated to English. This is one of my favorites. So again, I may have hit you with this before. I don't remember. Oh, that sounds... Yeah, this looks... Yeah, this looks familiar. I may have picked red last time. Oh, okay. no, this is... Uh, this is... Okay, this is different. There was one you okay. sent to me. Okay. Like when I was trying to think of the things to send you this morning, I'm like, I really like this game. Even yeah, there was a there was a up. there was a Sentai one that you did. But they were like super deformed. It was great. Oh, oh okay, okay. Car Ranger, yeah. Yeah, Car Ranger. That was the That's Super right. NES one. That jump shouldn't be difficult. Are you holding the button or just pressing it? Oh wait, I'm put. I'm, there we go. Okay. I was gonna say that jump shouldn't be a difficult thing. There we go. Also, if you press select, you get a screen clear. Oh. There's a start. One of the two. Yeah, I was uh, pushing the, um, whoops, the turbo button, so that makes you make a sh shorter hop. Short hop. Oh! Yeah. Oh, shit! Oh, they're all, um... It, it, yeah, it runs like, um, instead of lives, the ranger's just fucking dead. Mm. Holy shit. Oh, my sword! Thank you. 
Also, the bosses in this are really amusing, because they're all based on actual Super Sentai monsters. This is a game that I'm su is such a high quality game. I'm surprised it didn't get reskinned into something else for a Western release. Yeah, because it's honestly a really good game, and I think I would have sold here. Oh, totally. Heck, you probably wouldn't really need to change it. Just call them bird people or something. Yeah, bird or rangers. Uh, you know what? Po possible. It is entirely possible that, um, because of, um, the chokehold that, uh, Saban had all over the Power Rangers, they wouldn't have been able to do jack shit with it. It would have to be a complete so this, reskin. This game actually, uh, predates Power Rangers. Oh, what? Oh. Hmm. This is the series that was before, um, Zoo Ranger. Oh, wow. So, like, so this... Is this and there is Zoo Ranger for NES as far as Sentai games go? And, um. Zoo Ranger, I get why we didn't get, because that game ain't great. Oh no. But, um. We didn't even have. Power Rangers came out in 91, so it was very viable for us to get a release of. Um, yeah, when did this come out? This feels like 89 to like 90. Hmm. If I had to guess, but I didn't look at the date. But it is. Just like by the. This feels like the middle era of the NES. Because the graphics aren't super simple, but they're not crazy like when you get to like what Mario 3 looks like. Yeah. In Kirby's Adventure. This is where the game gets clunky, it's the boss fights. <laughs> Holding down will block. Oh, that's not fair. But if you had full power, I believe if you press the other button, you'll launch an energy attack. Oh, almost got him. Oh. He got me. That's fine. All right. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> yeah. This makes sense at the end of the day. All right. <laughs> so now we have... We're, we're going back... We're going back to Halloween. We're doing Freddy vs. Jason. DK edition. <laughs> what? It's a hack of Donkey Kong uh, Jr. No, it's a it's a hack of the original Donkey Kong, I think. Oh my goodness. But the maps are different, so I've never I don't know what the solution is. Oh, dang it. But I think you kill it um I think the goal is just to get to Jason. Like oh. I've never figured out what the goal of this is supposed to be. Yeah. I thought maybe is... you'll do better. Yeah, I think I just have to get to Jason. <clears throat> Apparently not. Maybe it's to kill all. Kill oh the wait, Jasons hold on. Using the claws. Yeah, I was gonna say we gotta probably gotta get the claws. Turn into a skull and I know, you just, yeah, you just turn into a skull and crossbone. It's great. Yeah, this game is just not great at telling you what you have to do. Yeah, at all. Like, that was the good thing about classic arcade games, is they were pretty good at telling you what the goal was, just by figuring it out. Like, you look at the screen, you're like, okay, I know what I've got to do. Oh. 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 Well, I didn't die. Oh, okay. Now now the claw is on Jason. Oh, there we go. Yeah, now there's a claw on Jason. Now I can go... 
Hey! Oh, you, you did it! Him. Half expecting a Freddy to just with a little peace sign. God, that would have that would have been great. Mm. Peak, absolute peak. This isn't as janky as I was expecting it to be. Like I said, I couldn't figure out what to do, but I liked the pr I thought the presentation was weird enough. Like, who makes Freddy and Jason into Donkey uh, Kong? Right. That's tough. I don't know if I'm able to do that. <laughs> this feels like it's probably made for somebody that's like a pro at DK. A lot of hacks have that issue. Yeah. I like how they just kind of like butchered the sound to make it sound spooky, but it's just the same yeah. same music. Alright, so this one's Friday the 13th. Return to camp. Camp. Blood. 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 Yes. Return uh, to camp one, blood. This is what... This is one of the ones I told you about. Oh, okay. Where, uh, you play as Jason. Oh. And, and fuck them kids. Fuck them kids, yeah. Ooh. Dab. Ooh, very good. Damn teenagers. <laughs> Back to Camp Blood for more. It's your job to kill all of those te damn teenagers. And return to Crystal Lake. So this game, I this game I believe has some sex and blood in it, or sex in it, but it's so pixelated that I have played it with no problems. Just wanted to give you that heads up. Oh, okay, good. Pixel pixel boobies won't get me banned off Twitch. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> if they look if they look realistic, but it's not. Aha! Hiding in the car, you fools! This game is super basic and super short, but I was laughing the whole time I played it. Right. Oh, you're killing all the black people. <laughs> it's like Jason kills the black people first. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> There's some puzzle solving in this one, to but not police. too much. Fuck the police. Fuck them. Fuck them police. I can only go side to side, so I not might not be able to kill this team. Well, there's a way to kill anybody, but it might not be on the screen you're thinking of. Ah, oh. Like, Aha. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh my goodness. That is fantastic. I yeah, I absolutely loved this. Oh my god, this is so clever. Like, there's just the right amount- Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, oh, oh no! It's the sex Boobies. <laughs> oh, I also, love that. Hold on. Boom. Attack the boombox? Yeah, attack the boombox. Amazing. Stabby stabby. Oh, iconic. Holy shit. That's great. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. This will be the probably the only game you play all the way through today. Oh my god, yeah, probably. It's so worth it. Apparently they did a Freddy, a Jason, and a Michael Myers version of these oh. and released them for Halloween. I believe I also sent you the Michael. Yes, I do have the Michael one. I'm looking at it right now. Okay. Oh, the music's back Mike... up. And what's good is the Jason one is kind of like a brutal one where there's not that much problem solving. It's just stabby stab because Michael is weaker than Jason. You have to think about how you go at things as Michael. <laughs> Set it on fire. That's actually a scene taken straight out of one of the movies, by the oh, way. Oh, is it? He, oh, he, man. He makes a camper crash and go on fire. Oh, that's great. So this is the Friday the 13th NES game we needed. Oh, this, yeah, this is absolutely the one we needed. Not the one that we got, though. <laughs> mm. To be fair, I probably wouldn't pay more than $5 for this. $5 for the novelty. Even then. Yeah. I mean, but then again, there were a lot of NES games that were $50 back in the day that are only worth, like, 5 
Yeah. Like, as good as the arcade game were, I'm like, God, I can't believe people pay $50 for Pac-Man. Oh, God. No wonder people are really good at Pac-Man. Yeah, I think about, like, some of the old games that I used to play, like, a lot. What the... There we go. Christ. Oh, there we go. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Mortuary Assistant did not warn at all about the, um, uh, the, like, <laughs> flat in the trash can. It's great. Uh, about, like, there, there's, like, a scene where it looks like, uh, the char like, main character, like, hung herself. It's supposed to be, like, all metaphorical and not, like, realistic in any way. It's supposed to be, like... Again, okay, a, me a metaphor to her psyche and stuff, but it was like, there was no warning whatsoever. I was like, wow. That game went a lot deeper into, um, like, it stopped being scary, like, pretty damn quickly. Like, I think when you, like, right after you left, it, like, stopped being scary. <laughs> I know, um, Queen, uh, Horror Queen streamed it, that's how I knew that I'm like, I don't necessarily like the themes of this game that much. Which is why I knew when to kind of peace out. Yeah. Like how just running into the fucking tombstones just breaks yeah. it. It's great. Um. Oh, uh, there we go. Into Jason's crypt. Hmm. Huh? I like how it looks like Jason just walking around and having a nice day. Having a nice little stroll. It's fine. <laughs> Into the lake we go. <laughs> this is fine. Oh, they're having a nice time on the lake. <laughs> you finally return back to your home and finish what you started. Bonus cabin slaughter stage. <gasps> yes. <laughs> Turn back. Yes. Damn kids, get out of my house. It's kind of weird that it's like named Friday the 13th uh, when it's like very much all to do about a camp. And yeah. I, I don't remember like Friday the 13th being like Oh, but she's dancing. Damn, te damn teens. Yeah. Uh, it was never really about the date. It was back... I'm a big fan of Jason. They came up with the title and went, all right, let's make a story that can use this title. And then they just kind of didn't. They just used the title as a gimmick. Yeah. Uh, you can walk all the way to the right and the left in go. most of the rooms of the cabin. But yeah, no, you're right. It has very little to do with the date. I think that before they came, people really liked Jason. They were going to do an anthology thing. There's a bong. <laughs> That's great. Damn teens. Yep. They're bongs. Yep. Where they were going to have it, like, each movie be a different horror story connected to the date of Friday oh, the 13th. Oh, I like it. And then it just turned out, oh, just the idea of just brutal killing is more in makes more money. Mm-hmm. Because... That's like the niche. that's like the theme for a lot of like eighties horror shtick. Oh, so there's a uh movie out that I don't know if you follow or I, I know you don't follow. Oh, you can go like... up the stairs. You did miss some stuff. Oh, did I? Okay. Um. So the oh, there we go. Now it's open. It wasn't open before. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. <laughs> eh, the end. Amazing. Uh, you probably don't follow uh, Wang on YouTube. He does like, he's actually talked a lot about like old internet history and stuff, but every once in a while, like for Halloween, he'll like talk, talk about some of his like favorite horror movies. And he recently was talking about, um, let me look this up. It's, um, let me go to my, my history here. Um, he was talking about, uh, Terrifier, which is uh, oh, okay. 
quite good. I've seen people talking about that movie recently that it's so <gasps> Holy shit. Holy shit, hold on. Uh the kidnapped YouTuber, uh what came back? Okay, no, it's not that's not the the um there was a girl Man, I'm getting I'm, I'm getting deep dive. Anyway, Terrifier. I'm going to go to Terrifier really quick. Terrifier is about like this like really goofy clown. Mhm. Mm uh that like just kills a bunch of people and like he he describes everything. It's very gruesome. It's very like very violent, very gory, very uh, homage to like the 80s um horror stuff. And he like he basically just does like a whole like you're going to watch this with me, but without having to watch it, we're just going to, like, edit this so that you can enjoy this goofy story of this thing I just enjoyed. Um, so it's perfect if you don't like horror and don't like a lot of guts and gore. Like, you can just, like, look yeah. away and just, like, listen to him describe what's going on. Interesting. And, um, anyway, so, like, there's this whole part where, like, she's about to get away. And then he's like, and then the, and then the clown pulls out a gun. And it's like, that's <laughs> cheating. <laughs> It's hilarious. It's like whatever. Okay, I was watching good to know. something of, of a TikToker that was claiming he uh, fell into another dimension that was empty. Oh, fun! And it turns out that it was a tourist board of whatever city it was that was mm. all, that was allowing him to film in empty spaces and clearing out Times Squares. Oh wow! Like town squares. It was neat. That is interesting. Ah, we're playing the Michael one now. Yes. This one requires a little more thought than the Jason one. Okay, so yeah, it looks like I don't have any weaponry yet. Thought uh -huh. and timing. A knife. Because your weapon is smaller. What's what that you got, got there, Michael? There, Michael? <laughs> a knife! A knife! No! No! <laughs> uh, Apparently that happened long enough ago that, like, the kid is, like, old now, and I'm like, what? <laughs> That's just the same thing as, like, the um, kids smirking at a house fire. Yes! Like, that's an adult now. Yeah. Do you want me to blow your mind? Huh. So, you know the, the baby from Teletubbies? Yes. It's a girl, the, right? The baby's in... Yeah, um... They have a, a, a kid now. Oh, shit! That's fucking crazy. Oh. Ah! Oh, I see. To hide from grandma. Oh, wait. Okay, I got it. Straight, straight down for the, to the tree. You did it, grandma I didn't see you. Yay! Loving the soundtrack. Oh my god, the soundtrack. Oh no, cat. Zelda! <laughs> Zelda, come back. Oh, shit. Time is key. Try again. Okay, um. Oh, I have okay. to kill Grandma. This is the hardest segment of the game for me. So, Grandma is only triggered when you walk far enough to the right. Uh, what I usually try to do is move slowly, so as soon as she spawns, I can turn to the right. Oh, Christ. That should have hit. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Arkham? The hit detection on this is a little janky. Because you have a much smaller weapon than Jason's machete. Yes, got her. Oh, you got her. This is the first game of the series that dropped, by the way. Oh. Devil's Night. Michael? Fuck! I just love this bit. <laughs> yes. 
Oh, one got away. Yep, you get you gotta kill everybody you see. Christ. Ugh, damn it. Well you can just walk right up to him though. Oh okay. Arkham's hypey, what'd you do? Got him. Nailed it. Yeah. Dun -dun. You dun. did it. You did it. Dun -dun. Killed the man. Yeah, dun. you did it. Dun -dun. Dun. Dun -dun. Dun. Oh, no. Halloween. Oh, in jail. It's fine. That's not gonna hold him. I like that they let him keep his knife, though. Uh-huh. <laughs> Watch out for- I, I, I love the message. Watch out for the cops! I wish it just said a cab. Oh, damn it. Got him. Oh, fuck. I like the, a little dare people. sign <laughs> in the back. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. For At Halloween, um, I was- at um, the comic shop doing thing, and we actually had um, a girl come in. There's an image of Freddy where his claws are um, replaced with um, needles. Mm -hmm. He's killing a druggie. Oh, I see. And the bottom of the shirt just said "Dare." Oh my god! Oh, fantastic! I I was laughing and I said to her mother, "She's not old enough to get the reference." And she goes, "No, they still have Dare in school." And I'm like, they still have dare. They still have I dare in dare school. Long... Apparently, like they stopped for a while and then it came back. Oh, interesting. Oh, damn it! I do you like really I close. Like... I like to go after the further away cop first. Oh, okay. I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but. Oh, okay, that actually was way easier. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget that Michael can drive. Cop, fucking. Did you really want to kill that kid, Zal? Come on. <laughs> oh, amazing. Oh no. Oh, six times. Jesus. That's actually, that's a reference to the I was going to say, that sounds like a Halloween, fucking reference. Yeah. In Halloween 2, Dr. Loomis starts running around, I shot him six times! God. So if he gets off six shots, that's why you lose. It doesn't matter. If he gets them off at all, okay. that's your time you have to Oh, uh, okay. How you doing, Arkham? Free Call of Duty skin. Dia de Muertos. Oh! For real? That's awesome. Alright, now to go kill Lori. You win! <laughs> Hospital level! Let's go! <laughs> It's just stabby stabbies, huh? Yeah. Like how the nurses have boobies. <laughs> there is a naked nurse later on in the level. <laughs> there oh, there is. we go. <laughs> Stab. Apparently, these were point and click games back in the day. That somebody converted into NES. Oh, that's great.
Although after seeing the naked one, it does make them all look like they're running around the hospital naked. It does. It only does. Oh, well, that was a clean and efficient job right there. Oh, oh Dan. Usually it takes me a little bit longer. Nice seeing Michael with a nice little striding. Yeah. I also like his breathing animation. Oh yeah, the little shoulder shrug. Yeah. Um. Did you know that Mike Myers' mask is actually a uh, William Shatner mask? Yes. So you want to hear something even more entertaining about that? Hmm. There is an episode of Columbo that predates Halloween where he wear where William Shatner is the killer and is wearing a blue jumpsuit. Like it it's the first time I saw it, I thought somebody photoshopped Michael Myers into Columbo and photoshopped the mask into being flesh tone. Oh my god, no, I'm looking this up. And just look up William Shatner Columbo and it should come up. Uh, it's nothing right away. Okay, there we go. There, no. It's not coming up right see. away. Not a jumpsuit. I saw a blue sweater. Let me... Fade to murder? I really need to watch Columbo. I hear good things. I, I've heard good things. Oh yeah, it doesn't come up right away. There we go. Yeah, it's like way in there. Wow. And he doesn't have like the, the, the telltale like golden hair. It's like black almost. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, that's so wild. It looks, it looks like a Photoshop. It really does. Oh my God. That's so wild. Like you're so used to seeing that jumpsuit and that face on Michael Myers. Yeah. That seeing it as a re Bill Shatner it looks wrong so it's uncanny valley somehow yeah it's ooh, that's weird all right like somehow hits that huh. all right we have improbability fighter oh this is fun you're gonna have fun with this one oh Oh. You're a tree! I'm a tree now. Oh my god. The improbability is that you keep changing shape into random things. And you have no control over when it does it. And it changes your shot and everything else. Also, if it's you can move up and down to get closer oh. to line your shots easier. The chaos goes up. Oh! Like I said, this this is a short one, but this is a fun um fan um homebrew. Like this is definitely like a fun proof of concept. Tetris is fun. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> I, oh. I loved it for a second. You're like, wait, can I play? Is the game over? Yeah, can I? Can I? Uh, I tried. That would actually be funny if that was like the equivalent of like a getting really good luck in the randomizer. Yeah. You get the game over screen and you can just nuke the whole screen. Uh, 
was never good at Toho. How's that? Yeah. I always just get all up in their faces and just open fire and hope for the best. Uh, how's how's Splatten been, by the way? Splat's been good. Splat's been really good. We're we're talking about um, I believe it's next weekend is the uh, not only the release of the new Pokemon game, but also the Splatfest that's happening. Uh, ah. kinda, game over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, specifically William Shatner's version of uh, Captain Kirk, the Star Trek mask. Arkham, yes. Apparently, William Shatner has tried to uh, sue for likeness rights on the Halloween movies no. to get a cut of the merch, but uh, that fell through and Yeah, failed. that fell through. Because it's like, it's so uncanny that it's like, nobody knows. I, I, nobody fucking yeah. knows until you said something. Yeah, exactly. It's, they called it... He himself didn't know until he was told. Mm-hmm. But, um... It counted as transformative. Yes. All right. Uh, so the next game, because it doesn't look like there's any other random things aside from those three things. Which, cute. Yeah. Get me wrong. Uh, we're gonna go into Ron Mahath. It. This looks like. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's like thought. Kung Fu, but because you're a, you know, you're a you're a weeb, I thought you would enjoy this. Kung Fu got hacked into a lot of different anime games. Oh, yeah. Ah! You can, you can hold down to crouch, by the way. Yeah, I thought so. That's right. Run your balls into my fist. Kung Fu and Mario 1 always got the most amount of hacks. Mario 1, easy. I think, just because... I was gonna say, the black box NES games are always really easy to hack. Yeah. Plus, you know, I think everybody knows Mario Brothers, so everyone goes, hey, I'll hack that, that's easy, everybody knows it, and it's got good mechanics to start. Oh, um, it's... Don't backtrack. The Everything is the direction you're initially facing in. Oh, okay. Good to know. I didn't know that. Yeah, your goal is just to walk to whatever direction you start with until you hit the end of the level. And you can backtrack to kill certain enemies because certain things will come at you from behind. But it's not... Don't, like walk back there long term. Ah, boo. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> this doesn't beat sword. Not normally. <laughs> All right, well, wait, there's... It's just it... difficult. Yeah, that's difficult. difficult. Like, You'd have to hit select, but A and B game was were always, always just difficulty spikes. Oh, uh, okay. Like you start on the second or third loop instead of the main loop. Oh, I see. That's not too bad. All right, now we're gonna do versus Air Man, version one. This one I might have given you before. It's Mario Luigi. I don't recognize this at all. Okay. It's Mario Mario in Mega Man. They oh, okay. created Air Man stage in full in the Mario Brothers 1 engine. <gasps> oh shit. The catch with this is you're playing as Mario who can only take one hit and doesn't have a shooter weapon mm. in a game built for be a shooter and a health bar. I can't beat this game. Mm. Oh no. Yeah, Mega Mario. <laughs> yeah. This is sort of, We got Mario a, Mario, um, Mario Luigi, Mega Mario, Mega Mar Mario. 
This I like it just on a technical level to get this game to run oh. on the Mario One engine is really yeah. interesting. It's it's good. I wish I wish I wouldn't die. I wonder if you can use yeah. like an invincibility cheat on this or something. No. No, I've tried. Ah. <sighs> And you have to beat Airman by just jumping on his head 21 times. Jesus! Unless you get lucky and spawn a fire flower before the fight. Like, this is intentionally meant to be as hard as possible. The, uh, it's making uh. fun of the I can't beat Airman meme. <laughs> That's me! I'm the meme! I'm also Green Mario now. I always preferred this color scheme from Mario. For Luigi. Up. Oh. All right. Last game of the night. Best one. Minions. Yay! Yay! This is adventure. You know what Island. this? No. You know what this looks like? You what? hold on. I gotta put this on my. On. Uh, hold on. Uh. There it is. Fanasi. That, this is that. Oh my god! It, it, it looks exactly like this. Hold on, I have to. I have to put this up on um. My thing. Look at look at my uh. My fucking uh. uh stream, uh my oh, the, Twitch oh, stream. stream. Yeah, the Twitch stream. God, you're not wrong. Right? That's that's all it reminds me of. I was like. I can't unsee it. Right. Also, if you don't know who f f um, it is, uh, Funasi, Funasi, Funashi, Funashi. Um, he's a mascot uh, for specifically the city of Funabashi, Chiba, uh, which is a uh, one of those. district. Yeah, uh, and he kind of started like his claim to fame is. Um, like, hold on, we can go. Let me just pull up YouTube for this. Um, I'll go to your stream so I can see it easier. This is this like this is like what he's known for. It's like various oh, prank I've seen things. That video. Yeah, you've yeah. seen this. Everyone's seen this. And like, it's it's just this whole thing. They brought all the different like <laughs> mascots together. <laughs> but there are like other like really good uh like things of Funa Funashi uh with um yeah it, hold on like, it's it's no he, they're known for doing this where they're just like <laughs> like going really fast in their suit it's <laughs> ridiculous <laughs> like Ugh. a huge hit like years and years ago. I remember the gif of that, now that you say it, and now yeah. that I've seen it. It's quite good. Alright. Yeah, this, this was an obnoxious game to try to track down, too. Oh my goodness. That bar above you is a hunger meter, so you want to grab all the power-ups you can, because that will go down on its own. Now you have a weapon. Oh. Now you don't. <laughs> what? Oh, bananas are weapons. I get it. Uh, bananas are food. You kick that- in the regular game, that's an egg, and it gives you a projectile that- Now you have a projectile. Um, you also can run by holding the attack button a la Mario 1. Ah! Okay, good to know. <laughs> this looks extremely cursed because it is extremely cursed, Arkham. Don't worry. Don't you worry. <laughs> this is very cursed. <laughs> Disagree. I've been trying to beat this game on my stream. I, I love the original Adventure Island that this is based on. It's one of those. All right, they took a fran they took a franchise I like and hacked it into a game I like. I've got to give it a shot. Mm -hmm. 
The jumping is all jank. God, yeah. How, how, how jump? Whenever, if you jump from movement, you jump high. You're gonna starve to death. Uh, I, I, I've been collecting everything. What happened? I collected everything. You, to, you still have to go fast through the level. Oh no. Like you, have, you basically, this game is built for running through. Oh no. Hate that. All right, we'll do one more round. Then I'm gonna call it. <laughs> Gives it for a pirate NES. Your mother bought it and swapped me. And your child. This is hundred games. They're all the same. Yeah, that that's a that's like a, a known thing. Wait. That is exactly what this is. One hundred and ten percent. Exactly what this is. Yeah, some of those like um. What what do they what do they call it? Um, it's a uh plug and plague. They're yeah. like not real uh game, not real game systems. They're just like a thousand and one game systems that are like terrible. No, <sighs> oh, you kicked it away. Death. We're almost out of the forest. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, this game is also, like I said, one of those th uh, three lives, no continues. That's it. And you're gonna get real good at it, because it's the only game your mom bought for the next three months. Yup! <laughs> <gasps> I was thinking about the other day, I was like, wow, how come I'm not, like, having, like, big nostalgia for games I've been playing recently? It's because, like, some of the games that I do have nostalgia for, I played, like, a hundred times because it was the only thing I had. Exactly. Like, I have a huge fondness for the old Mario 64, but, like, I played the shit out of that game. <laughs> yeah, well, the old Mario 64, you just, like, randomly explored it, too. I like, <laughs> told you where shit was, but only to a degree. Yes. I love the- I love the hub world style <coughs> of, um, gaming and stuff. Okay. That was perfect. That was just the right amount of time for all of these. And we also, like, we have that other list that you came up with that we need to vet too. So this will come back. For sure. <laughs> uh, did you want to do that Epic Racers game that I sent you as well? The oh yeah, let's do- or... let's do that Epic Racers game. Because that's the one- the one other one that I was like, yeah, we could do this. This'll be fine. <clears throat> I think I gave you that other SNES uh... list a while ago too, right? Yes. That we haven't touched. That'll be fun because that's been a couple of years now, so I don't even remember what's on that I list. I know, I have to look at it. Uh, where- yeah, here we go, Epic Racers. And that's the Super Famicom, so let me yep. shut this off, and then we're gonna get our Super Famicom open. Use the ZSNES for this, because uh, the other one that I've used for a billion years doesn't like to be captured. In any any way possible. Um, well, let me get that window open. Go. Then let me put that up on Discord. I don't know if this one will also allow for um, music. This yeah, might, it is. I, I hear it. Oh, good. All right, now I just have to use. Um, so one good thing I like about this game compared to the NES, uh, the original Super Mario Kart, is you don't have to hit, you don't have to place in the top four for it to move on. Like, you can just do one of the Grand Prix and play through it, and even if you don't place, so be it, you still place. Oh my goodness. I always hated the original Mario Kart for that. Holy shit. We have Jesus, Kami, Don, Sasori, Loki, and Impala. Troll, 
Stifu. We gotta play with Jesus. We gotta play as Jesus. Of course, yeah. gotta of course we gotta play as Jesus. Wow, this is really good. That mm -hmm. being said, Stifu is a Saiyan. Really? Yeah, because I don't know the character or if he's an OC, but know. his he, it's a Saiyan pod he's flying. Oh, that's great. I don't recognize any of these other characters. Never good at this specific uh Mario Kart, yeah. Yeah. Most I got, people I got, were my I got I got stupid good at Mario Kart 64 for reals though. My sister got Same. pissed. I got I got real good at that, that one um streaming it to death. Back in the time before Twitch muted you for song requests. Oh that's right. Whoops. Paul's basically like Bowser, right? Yeah. Mar uh, Jesus and Loki are Mario and Luigi. I can't believe Jesus Christ just took a dump on the road. <laughs> Somebody else took a dump on the road too, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What am I saying? Whoa. The troll so is also taking dumps. Four laps. Yeah, Mario Kart SNES is five laps. Oh, that's right. Coins. What a waste. So one of the things I always disliked about um, Mario Kart 6, uh, the original SNES Mario Kart, those every computer character, oh, there's the saying, you can see it's a pod. Oh, wow. Um, the computer characters always have infinite items, but they only, have, each character only has one specific item they have. Oh, interesting. Like, um, Mario and Luigi have infinite stars when they're played as by the computer. Oh, interesting. Um, Peach and Toad have mushrooms that, hey. if you hit them on the road, you get shrunk and drive slower and can be squished. Oh, that's great. Bowser has fireballs, Donkey Kong Jr. has, um, banana peels. <laughs> and the Koopa Troopa drops shells. But here, if you watch here, you can see... The other racers and what their carts look like. See, that's a Saiyan pod. That's a Saiyan pod. What the fuck? This is so weird. Yeah, it's a little Saiyan pod. What well, I? What do I not know? This fucking Saiyan. Hold on. I'm, I'm, guessing that he's an OC. That most of these characters are OCs, or that this is like a weird Latin thing because Latin America has some weird Dragon Ball cannons. There isn't a Stifu, but there is a Saifu. Hmm. Could be a spelling thing. Saifu. Saifu. Wait, hold on. Is this a Dragon Ball Evolution joke? <laughs> Saifu Norris is a character in the 2009 film Dragon Ball Evolution. He seems to be the movie's version of Master. Muataito, the teacher of Master Roshi. What? Why did they go back that far? What the fuck? Okay, that the not related anyway. I think Saifu might be a OC or some shit. Yeah, like I said, Latin America really. Um, I don't doubt enjoyed it. Enjoyed that. I did not know that Arkham. I wish he did. You know that, that Jesus is going to appear in Thor: Love and Thunder, and the end he mentioned him as a. Like, Carpenter God. Oh, that's clever. I did. I missed that. I think I totally missed that part. That that would have been great. I really wish I had seen Jesus in uh, 
that the Hall of Gods in in that. Have you have you seen Thor? Um, no, I have not. It, there, there's a moment where they all like go to basically like a like a hall of what is essentially gods, like for a big old meeting. And Zeus, like the thunder, you know, thunder god, is just like, welcome everybody. And you can see like all of the different gods and things like that. And a couple of the characters there are like, oh, hey, I know that one. And like a couple's like, oh, wow, it's really good to see them here or just stuff like that. And so I really wish they had put Jesus up there. It would have been really great. I, I'm sad yeah. they didn't. That would have been. I understand cute. why they didn't, but yeah. Yeah, they still should have. <laughs> like, I agree. If they're gonna treat every every religion like they're just like a mythical character, may as well just be Jesus. I mean, to be <laughs> every, fair, everybody Marvel everybody needs to be on equal footing. Marvel has been very careful in the comics never to have Jesus show up. Yeah. Or when he does show up, it's um somebody posing as him to mess with Christian heroes. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I, I'll give that. Man, I've been on like a. Like I, I, I'll I'll let you know this because uh you um. You are uh my, uh, sort of like, joke into the Jesus world. Well, I like to joke with it. you about Jesus things because it's hilarious, and I know you will enjoy these jokes about Jesus things. Yeah. But I have been uh I've had the Veggie Tale song stuck in my head for the last three days. Oh no! <laughs> and it keeps reminding me that at some point recently they depicted Jesus, and I was just like, "You can't do that. You're not allowed to do that. You're not, You're not allowed, allowed to, to have that." Yeah, Veggie Tales uh. is like this whole thing about like you can't have that. All right. Well, I think that's uh, it for this fun little weird Wednesday on a Friday. Um, <laughs> but yes, thank you again. And yeah, I know you've got another vetted thing for us in the future here. Um, so I really appreciate that. I always, I always appreciate it when you find some really fun, scummy games to play and just like stuff I would never look to try to look at or even like click on the name of because it's just there's so much of it. So I, yeah. I do appreciate that. No problem. All right, I am going to do a little BRB and then I'm going to move on to another game. <laughs>